Paramotoring is inherently a safe sport, so long as you respect it. But the moment you push the boundaries, it can get dangerous real quick. This past Sunday morning, a man took flight from right here in San Diego and is attempting to become the fastest ever to fly across the country. But what exactly he is flying is what makes this story so intriguing. I mean, at the time, I don't think any of us knew just how hard he'd be willing to push to set this record. It got genuinely scary at times. Harley is so driven that uh, he thinks he can make this work. And uh, if we don't keep him safe, he's gonna hurt himself. Typically, we like to fly for two hours in the morning and two hours in the afternoon when the wind conditions are most favorable. We don't have that privilege for this trip to try and succeed. Oh. We have a very aggressive goal to get across the continental divide in just two and a half to three days. Um, because if we don't make that, we're gonna land up with a weather front coming in that's gonna be incredibly cold and the wind chill factor, very quickly you can lose all the sensation in your fingers. It's a daunting task, it's 2,200 miles. Most of us might only fly 50 or 80 miles on a given flight. We're gonna try and do that all day, every day, um, in two weeks. 